I make $3,220 a month and my spouse is deceased. Uh, my student loan payment is $200 a month. Medical insurance is $100 a month. Credit card debt is $1,947. And I have one child, Owen, and he's eight months. I have a house and it's $400 a month. I have water bills, $65 a month. And oh, I have light bill and it's $116 this month. And transportation is $650. It's a new car. What kind of car did you pick out? It's an Audi. I need groceries household items, internet, phones. So budget's gonna be 225, your standard's gonna be 300, and then your luxury's gonna be 375. Um, I think this is too much. But this is reasonable. I'll get the standard. standard. Groceries. Three hundred. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I'll get basic. Basic? Okay. So we're saying here maybe $100 a month. I'll get uh, a fancy phone. A fancy phone? You might do $150 then if you're going to go fancy. Okay. Now I need... Oh, I need insurance. Have you calculated how much you've already spent of your monthly income yet? No. You want to do that? Yeah. I spend four zero zero plus sixty five plus zero. I spent one thousand five hundred and thirty one thirty. <laughs> Three thousand two hundred and twenty dollars. So let's figure out what you have left. A thousand five hundred twenty-seven dollars and eighty-three cents. All right, so you're doing pretty good so far. Uh. Do you have child here for your your little one? Yep. Yeah. Okay. He's been to all the foods. He needs a. All right, you need a fake card. A fake. All right, come right back here, and we'll get you a fake card. We got a young man here that's finished up. He needs a fake card. And there you go. I mean, I'm gonna out with the old you sell some cds and dvds add twenty dollars to your budget worksheet so i will make three three thousand two hundred and forty dollars did you think you made or you had a lot of money to spend yeah i think i pre i think i did pretty good i still have a thousand and five hundred dollars to spend so what do you think you should do with that at, at uh, do you want to invest it? Do you want to? I'll invest it. You'll invest it? Let's go visit an investor. He actually had some money left over and he said he okay. wanted to invest it. So. Good, smart plan. So let's talk about what that means. You know, again, when you get your first job, you're going to hear something called 401k. Have you ever heard that term? All right. What that allows you to do is take some money out of your paycheck and it doesn't hit your bank account. It goes into a savings account. And then people like me help you invest and it grows and do all this stuff. I would suggest you do $250 a month because if you do that, you'll have $1.2 million. That means in retirement, you'll be able to generate about $70,000 a year in income off that and still give that to your kids, whoever, right? That, that's a solid number. So right there in investments, I'd write 250 bucks. Because it takes forever for it to stop. I will work at all. How hard? 
Number seven. Let's see what you get. Uh -oh. You just bought some new Jordans for $200. Oh, boy. <laughs> so right here under discretionary spending, put new shoes. Okay. Who's next? I learned that it is kind of hard. If this was real life, this would be a lot of stuff to pay. It takes like 50% out of your check. Have any idea that it would cost this much money? No, not at all. This looks like it would be too hard to do. But I do not want to do all this. Don't want to rush to be an adult, do you? No. <laughs>